Hi guys, it's Mama. My name is Kelly. My channel name is Hip Flippin' Mama. And I am here to bring you another haul video. This was an estate sale that I went to. And oh my goodness, this was like walking into the 50s, you guys. This was incredible. Oh, I want to remind you guys before I get started that, yes, my YouTube channel is Hip Flippin' Mama, um, but I have my jewelry auction. It's Wednesday night, so I have my jewelry auction at 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight. So if you're watching this video tonight, come join my auction at 7 o'clock. It's a jewelry auction. I've got some beautiful pieces, you guys. Just beautiful. At any rate, okay. Here we go. I picked up a ton of vintage items. Gorgeous, beautiful items to me. Maybe not to you, but let me show you what I got and explain to you exactly why I got it. And what was even better about this estate sale is it was just down the road from me. Just down the road from me. And I want to thank John Nevermore Antiques because he's the one that told me about the estate sale. He lives in a completely different state and he told me about the sale. So thank you, John. And it was just not even a quarter mile from my house. So, okay. The first thing I picked up, and the prices were ridiculous. I picked up, oh no, I can't show you. Yes, I can show you. And I will show you. even though one item's already sold. But, they haven't paid yet, so. Okay, I got some baskets. They had baskets all in a pile, you guys. And small baskets were a dollar, medium and large baskets were two dollars. So, I thought, okay. Not a problem. Now these baskets don't have a name on them. These are uh, vintage, but they do have an original sale ticket on them for $32. And they have these neat little ceramic handles. So I thought, you know, maybe if I group them both together, I could probably get 15 to 20 out of them. And I paid $2 each for these. I was thinking those were going to be the small, but they charged me for the medium and that's okay. And then I picked up, I already have one of these, but I picked this one up anyway. Sorry guys, I've got my, my baskets in here pretty tight. This is the Longer Burger Pie Basket. And I have one listed in my eBay store for $49.99 right now, but that one has the fabric lining and the plastic protector. And I've got someone asking me questions in regards to one and wants to buy it, but they haven't they haven't jumped the gun yet. So um but I picked this up for two dollars. Two dollars, guys. $19.99, there's the longer burger right there but I just I couldn't resist it for two dollars I also got a great big long basket for two dollars with handles it's about this wide and it's sitting over here it collects all my bits and pieces of my cardboard you know how sometimes you have to cap an end um, on something or there's a little hole in your Franken box and you need to cover it so yeah, that's what that's for. And then I got some more baskets. And I so eloquently have already taken care of them. I don't know why, because I hadn't filmed this video yet. Okay. So I got this basket, and this is a longer burger basket, 1990. And I can't remember what this is called. I'm gonna have to do like a video thing with my friend Jude 
and ask her what this one's called, but I only paid two dollars for it, so I can't complain about it. It's a longer burger, it's two dollars. I'll get at least 20 out of it, and then I need to ask her what this oh, this one's not longer burger. This one's Country Woven Collection Grand Basket Mass Pith New York. I got this because it was good quality. And because it was labeled on the bottom, I figured it was probably worth a little something. This was a dollar. So for a dollar, I'll pick up a longer burger knockoff and see if I can get any money for it. I know I'll get my dollar back for it. So I don't have to worry about that, right? Let me fix these really quick, guys, and get these out of the way. I've got my pie basket in here that's got the lining and everything. And then my new pie basket fits right inside of it, which allows me to fit all of these baskets in one box. Which is absolutely wonderful. And I take advantage of every little space saving trick I can get, you know what I mean? Know what I mean? And then I still have this longer burger with the lid. And I have to wash that up. I haven't washed it up yet. So let me put these back in their home. Hello, Scrappy. Did you finish eating? Did you finish eating? Guys, when you're working in a 110 square foot area, everything has a place and every place has something in it. So, okay. So one of the things I picked up... I paid two dollars for and I haven't actually taken these out yet so this would be fun but the first one I love an 18 inch ruler for when which this has several for when you're measuring your packages you know when you need to measure I forgot to put these in there when you need to measure you know how many inches your package is 18 inch rulers are great for that but this one I'm not going to keep primarily because this is for measuring envelopes but it's got the merchant information on it and the merchant uh, address. But if you notice, look at the phone number. The phone number is letter, 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 30100. You know what I'm saying? It's five digit phone number. So I won't be keeping this. F L L L M O R E three zero one O O. So it would have been phone number F L three zero one zero zero. I mean, what are the chances that you would get? So this is definitely from the fifties. And this gentleman was a businessman who unfortunately passed away. But this one I think I will be keeping because it just says Westcott Ruler. There's nothing indicating that it's a 50s piece, but this is a nice. I'll be keeping this one. Oh, and here's an identical one with the phone numbers. Nice. Two items, one listing. All right. Very nice. All right. Let's see what else is in here. I haven't looked in here yet. I haven't opened any of my bags that I got from there. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a slide ruler. Okay, guys, maybe you can tell me what this is for. It's made by Pickle. And do you see all the... And it's got this little slide thing. And I'm on my phone, so I can't get as close as I normally can to focus. Is my wonderful webcam. But I don't know what it's for. So if anybody out there knows what this is for, that would be great. Because I certainly don't have a use for it. And then, oh, I love these. When they fold out, what's it say? Arrow Mayflower Transit Company, 
agents in principal cities. I'll have to look that up. This is an excellent shape if it's 50s. So I'll have to look that up. If it's not worth much, I'll keep it. And then I've got some see-through rulers, metric rulers, still in the packaging. So I may sell those since I have three that are still in the packaging. And I've got some Vogue from some Rogue ones. This one's got like a serrated edge. I don't know what that's for. Is this for like um, engineering purposes maybe? Let me know if you know. A see-through metric ruler. Inch and sixteenths. Metric and zero centering scales. Graph ruled for parallel spacing. Don't know. Oh, something is in a leather case. If I pick it. Oh, and it's another one of those sliding rulers. Still in the package. So yeah, guys, if you know what this is, let me know. Because apparently it's pretty special. Perhaps to be used on the job because it's got a nice leather sheath that you carry it in. And granted, I paid $2 for all of this. And I think this one I'll keep out because that really doesn't have any significance to it. Oh, this one's Bronson Health Answers. It's 14 inches. Bronson didn't... Uh, shows you how to do CPR in the back. Yeah, that one's not worth anything. This one's a piece of crap for a lot of reasons. So let's put these back in here. And then this one I'm going to keep. I got two of them. Woohoo! One's 15 inches and one's 18 inches. So that is great. I get to keep something out of there. So I got those rulers. Okay, guys, it doesn't take much to excite me, okay? I'm sorry. Mm. Next up, you think, oh, Planters Cocktail Peanuts. Well, that's a neat little advertisement piece. But bam it's a notebook! It's a notebook! And I can find these online with holes here. They're smaller, with holes here in white paper. Just plain white paper, none with lined paper. So I have to do some more research, but I think I might um, just list this for $19.95 and see what happens. Um, or $24.99, and then when a sale hits, it'll decrease it. Because that's a one of a kind. And then I got these. Now, granted, these don't have a name on them or anything. I just liked them, and I thought, I'm missing three. How cool. Chickens are in right now, or roosters are in right now. But I got these lot. Scrappy. It's my dog. I got this lot of seven of these mugs for $3. And I have a green color. I have three of the green colors. I have two red. And two of this beautiful blue. And here's the rooster that's on it so cute and they've got like this burlap look on the inside but set of seven plastic color rooster cups three dollars guys I couldn't pass it up and I really wanted to film for you guys but it was shoulder to shoulder in there I went the first day it started at 10 I got there about 11 30 
and it was still shoulder to shoulder in there. So unfortunately, I didn't get to video for you guys. This was a sale that I went to Saturday, and it's Wednesday now. I'm just now getting around to doing the haul, sorry. And I picked up three of these wooden cork coasters by Hellware, Hellerware, made in Taiwan. And these are comping, believe it or not, in the 20s, 20 dollars $20, And I got three for two dollars. I picked up all three for two dollars. So I'll make about twenty, twenty-five dollars for these. So you can't beat that in return of investment. In fact, I'm gonna be listing these today. So nice, right? And then I got this cordless pencil sharpener that was originally $15.95. I don't know if you can see that. $15.95. And it's still in the box. I got it for a dollar. And I still haven't taken it out of the package because I'm not quite sure how it comes out of the package. I'll figure it out later, but I'm sure it's in great condition. If it's not new old stock, you can sell it used still with the, um, with the box, you get a higher price, so. And then I got, get this, see this price tag, $1 for a cross pen. One dollar for a cross pen. In its case, it's a nice pen, it's black. I'm not going to keep it because I like big chunky things in my fingers. But it is heavy, it's nice. You know, it's got the pen part in it. It still works. So this I'll probably get about 15 to 20 for. And I paid a dollar. So not a bad return on my investment. Scrappy, stay in or stay out. I put those boxes there to keep you out. He just trumped right through all the boxes, guys. Typical pug. Pugs are, are somewhat to bulldogs where they just do what they want to do, whether you want them to do it or not. So I got that. Okay, I bought two bags of bangles for $2 each, only because I know for certain one of these is Bakelite. When I rubbed it really hard with my thumb and smelled it, it had a terrible, terrible chemical smell. So I know that's going to be a Bakelite. In one of these blue ones, I wasn't sure if it was Bakelite or not. And I thought, eh, I was ready to go home. I just, I bought it. I bought them both. So I've got to test those for Bakelite yet. I have got one red Bakelite. So I'm looking for more. And then this miscellaneous, I don't know if they're staplers or punches. Um, McGill punch for almost every need. So these are punches and I paid a dollar for them. All of them. Now whether I have a use for them or not, I thought they were stapler. No, they are punches. But look at the, how old these are and the quality. People like to buy this older stuff because it's never going to break. You're never. It's never going to break. You're never going to have a problem with it. Here's another one that's quite old. I would say older than that one. Look at this one. And then these are just single hole punches. I don't know if the other ones are, but, you know, what kind of punch they are. If they're a single hole punch or... I think they are. No, they're small hole punches. That one's a regular size. And then I got this. This is really why I bought it. A brand new one in the package, guys. 
Oh, look. And it tells you all the sizes and stuff on the back. Extra heavy duty. Quarter inch. Clipping receptacle. That catches your clippings. This is brand new in the box. I'm thinking this is 15 to 20. Brand new in the box for a dollar. And then I just figured the rest of these were just extras. I don't know if I'll sell them all together because some of them are different sizes or if I will part them out, but I'm not sure. Not part them out, but sell them individually. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. And then I got this for a dollar. And this is another, it's a stapler. Heavy duty stapler, the older kind. And then another punch that's in the box that was $31.99. But this one's been opened, obviously. And that's just a hole punch. I didn't realize it had been opened when I saw it. But really, even just this for a dollar, this will sell really well. I would consider keeping this, but I have a really nice stapler. So, and I'm an office supply junkie. I am an office supply junkie, guys. I can't help good office supplies. Sans this. <laughs> This big box I paid $3 for. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes of staples, which I do use staples, but these are all new in the box. I could sell these if I wanted to. And if you notice down here, these two staplers are still new in the box. So I can sell these new in the box. And vintage staplers do sell, you guys. They sell for more than the, the current ones do. And then these two staplers I could sell for probably six or seven a piece. Even though they don't have a box, they're still vintage and people need vintage. Not alone, you know, I mean, for movies and TV and things like that. Plus, people just like vintage. So... This was definitely worth $3. Plus, I can never find a staple remover. I only have one, and I can never find it. And it's broken. So now I've got three more. So this was a good buy for me at $3. We'll get to some different things in a minute. And then you know Mama and her Rolodexes. This is a new in-box old stock Rolodex. And it's got more cards here which I will sell this one will probably go for about 15 to 18 dollars but I paid a dollar for it one dollar and I have three Rolodexes you guys know that I have an obsession with a Rolodex I keep a Rolodex this is my personal Rolodex okay and it's completely steel all the way around and people make fun of mama's Rolodex but when they need to get a hold of somebody they sure do try and get you know the information from me because I've got the Rolodex and I have a few Rolodexes um, but I'm gonna sell those that's the one I'm keeping so I've got that and that'll probably sell and then I bought this knife in the jewelry area and I don't know if it's sterling silver or not. It's so tarnished and worn. And I thought for a dollar, I like knives. I thought for a dollar, what's the worst thing that could happen? I would just clean it up and have an extra knife. But something about this said to get it. And if it's not sterling, which it's probably not, um, that's okay. But if it is then great, you know? I I like little knives. I have another little knife here. I was just playing with it last night. What I do with it? Anyway, I've got a six inch blade in my car, in my glove box, with a four inch handle. So it's like a 10 inch knife. And when I was the victim of road rage and, and a gentleman was pounding on my car because he was mad at me, um, 
how I got him off of me, because um, I thought he was going to break my window, is I reached in my glove box, because I had 911 on the phone. I reached in my glove box, I unsheathed my knife, and I shook it at him like this. And I yelled to him, I will stab you. And I told 911, I said, I have a knife. I will stab him. If he breaks my window, I will stab him. I told 911 that. And then when the guy saw the knife, he went and got back in his car and left. So I paid a dollar for that knife at a garage sale, and it stayed in my glove compartment the entire two years that I've had it. And if nothing else, it was for that one incident. And this gentleman was just crazy. He was just crazy. And if I hadn't had that knife, I don't know what would have happened, you know? So I'm glad I had that knife. So I, I've become a little, oh, here's my other knife. Here's my little knife. I like to, to play with it. It's just a little tiny knife. This is going to go in my purse. It's my purse knife. I bought it. Then I have a bass fishing knife. And Anyway, I digress. Okay, guess what? I got these. What did I pay for these? A dollar. A dollar. And I got these leather hazel portfolios. And then when you open it, I got a, a maroon one and a gray one. And this one back in the 50s was $12, okay? And it's got the hazel paper still in it. And I have two of these. Two of, oops, it's upside down. Two of them. So those will sell nice. I don't know if I'm going to sell them in a, um, a lot, both together, I may, or individually. I haven't decided yet. So, and then I got two vinyl ones, which I'm not really, you know, they're vinyl, they're cheap. I'll look them up and see what they're going for. If they're not going for anything, I'll just keep them and use them. And then, you guys, I got the creme de la creme. I have to be careful because this packaging is not the best. I got these serving trays, and I need to tape this box up because it's really brittle. And they're supposed to have the paper that goes with them, and they did have some that did have the paper, but I didn't really want these. I wanted these. Aren't these gorgeous, you guys? And I got 12 of them. I'm supposed to get eight and then some paper fillers. But I got 12 of these. I just wanted these 12. They're gorgeous. I love them. They're all in great condition. I have the original box. I paid $4 for them. I expect to make upwards of over 30 for these. So, yes. I need to get those listed today. And last but not least... I picked these up for the um, Kathy Frank. Is it Kathy Frank folders? Because I didn't know if they were the vintage one. I don't want to say Anne Frank. Lisa Frank. I didn't know if they were the vintage ones or not. I have to look up the UPC and find out. But I got four of these. Um, but I mean, they'll sell for something, but what was really interesting is I got a lot of these vintage, you know, file folders that are in perfect condition, but what I didn't realize I had at the time until my sister and I were looking through them, I'll get to them just a moment, just a bunch of different cute folders. And I don't believe all of these are from the fifties. But I got this ruled liner paper, which I do use, but that's definitely old. Um, and then I got these classifier folders, which are definitely old. But I got these, these brief folders, five for 49 cents, right? And they still have the vintage paper on them. 
they're still brand new with this paper on them. So I'm thinking these are 50s, 60s, maybe 70s. I don't know. There's no date on them. So I'll look them up and see. They may be a little bit of a gold mine. They may not be a little bit of a gold mine. Who knows? But I bought them for the Lisa Frank folders. Everything else was just a plus. They were a dollar. You cannot be a dollar, guys. You just can't beat a dollar. Seems like I had this folder when I was in high school, which was the 80s. So I thought it was a pretty good bag to pick up. Especially with those old folders that still have the um, they still have the paper around them. And that's it, guys. And I got a bin to carry everything around in. In my favorite color, purple. And that's it, guys. That is my haul. That's everything that I got. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'm trying so hard to get to a thousand and I'm in the 900s and, and your support really means a lot to me. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe, hit the like button and hit the notification button, the ding -a ling button. So the next time I go live, you know that I'm live or the next time I post a video, my live videos are really crazy guys because you don't know what's gonna happen. I might fall off my chair, I might fall off a ladder, and I don't know how to edit, so you get to see whatever happens. Whether I spill my coffee all over myself or all over the jewelry that I'm selling. Oh, my jewelry auctions tonight. It is Wednesday. It is tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. So I hope to see you there. I have lots and lots of 925 jewelry, guys. I've got some gems. I've got some beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Some beautiful earrings and bracelets. So please stop by 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Hip Flippin' Mama's channel and check it out. Thanks for coming, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Have a good day. Mama loves you.